Hello guys, welcome. This is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com and in this tutorial we are going to do the remaining two steps related to our Einstein next best action. So what does the step says here? It says create a recommendation strategy flow. So we need to create a special type of flow which is called as recommendation strategy flow that determines when and how the recommendation is presented. Okay? So that is the third step here so what we will do is we are going to go back to our salesforce and uh, we will go here to salesforce and we'll go to creating a recommendation strategy flow okay this basically flow is used to recommend the next actions to the users okay so we'll go over and go over to the flows and uh, this is a different a special type of flow here so we'll click on new flow And then here in the all plus templates, if you come down, you have a recommendation strategy flow. So this is the flow that we are going to create. And what this flow does, it builds a personalized list of recommendations for the users. When a recommendation is accepted, it launches its assigned flow. So we have already done the second part where when a recommendation is accepted, we have created a flow that is going to get executed. Now what we are doing is we are building a personalized list of recommendations recommendation for the users okay so what kind of recommendations you want to display and where do you want to display okay so in this particular strategy flow if you change this layout to auto layout in free form you see here there is a collection variable created called output recommendation so what it is going to return it is going to return you the collection of recommendations okay and this is the variable that our component is going to use to display the recommendations here so very very important remember the fourth step is to deploy this einstein next best action component onto our lightning record page right that is our step number 4 so what that component takes that component has the record id where do you want to show the recommendation now what recommendations you want to show this is what this particular flow is going to provide because this flow has a variable of the type output you can see here it's available for the output here so this is the type of variable that is available and this is what it is going to return is the list of recommendations and whatever the list of recommendation this particular flow is going to return those the recommendations will be displayed onto our lightning record page So here I'm going to first thing is we have to fetch the account record. So here I'm going to say elements and we are going to get the get records here and we'll say get account record. Okay? So for which which type of object it is going to be account because we want to display it on the account record, right? And uh, which particular account record? So basically where the ID of the record is nothing but equals to record id so wherever einstein next action component is deployed it has the record id so record id is the id of your account record and uh, it is usually going to give you first record but let's say we change it to all records and automatically store all fields and hit the done so we are fetching our account record we are fetching an account record now we need to fetch our recommendation record which recommendation you want to send or assign to this particular account record so let's first connect these two and then again we are going to deploy the get records and we'll say get recommendation for the account okay object is recommendation Now you can have different types of recommendation right so which particular recommendation you want to return so if you go back here this is the name of our recommendation so we are going to use this name to fetch that particular recommendation okay so here i'll go the name of the recommendation contains this so this is the recommendation we want to return to our einstein next best action component and that recommendation is the one that will display on the screen so this is the name here and uh, all records automatically store all fields now what we have done is we have fetched the account record based on the record id and then we have also fetched the recommendation that we need to return now 
we are going to use this output recommendation here and we will set the value of this output recommendation because this is the variable that this flow is returning. So what we're going to do here is we are going to use assignment here and we will ass assign the output recommendation variable. This was automatically created. We didn't create this output recommendation variable, right? So we are setting up the output recommendations equals to the collections that we retrieved in the previous get records, right? Recommendation from the get recommendation. So this is our the collection that we have. This is the collection of recommendations. Right now it only has one recommendation, which is this send gift basket. So we are setting up this particular variable with the collection of our recommendation and that is it. So this particular strategy flow is also done. This is the step number three here. So what we are doing here is we are basically returning the recommendations that we need to display on the screen. So first thing is we created a recommendation strategy flow. What this flow basically passes, it takes in a record ID okay, which record you want to display the recommendation. So first thing is we got the account record, okay, for this account record. And where is the ID coming from? ID is coming from, it's an input to that, okay, input to this flow. So if you go back here, record ID is what is passed to this flow. It's a input variable here. Then what we have is we are fetching the recommendation based on the name. Okay, we are fetching one recommendation. And then what we are doing, we are setting up the value of output variable, which is what already was present in this flow, we did not create. And we set it up and we are passing in the collection of recommendations. Okay, hit the save here. And we'll say recommendation collection flow. Hit save and we will activate it. Now the last thing that we need to do is we need to go over to an account record and on this account record, let's go ahead and open a particular account record here and uh, let's go over to this and let's edit the page. So here, this is the step number four. So if you remember here, add a next best action component that displays the recommendation on the account record page and executes the strategy. So here on to this record page, you can add this next best action component on experience cloud sites, on external sites, on your lightning record pages also. So here what we are going to use, we are going to say Einstein next best action and we are going to deploy it somewhere on this page. And then it is asking, it's invalid right now, don't worry. And strategy source, what is the strategy source? So there are two types. One is the strategy builder. We didn't use this. We are using the flow builder. So that is what we are going to use is the flow builder. And automatically we have one strategy flow that we just created, which is called recommendation collection flow, which is this particular flow. It automatically, because we had only one, it automatically, automatically is showing you that particular flow here. Maximum recommendation display, you can have four to recommendation you can display on the screen. So you can see here, you are getting a small preview. Can we send you a gift basket for the holidays? That is what we gave in the description. And then it has two things, yes please and no thanks. That is what we send is the acceptance label and this is your rejection label. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit save and let's activate it and uh, make it as an org default. So we'll go ahead and assign as org default, next and save, okay? So we have done this. Now let's go back to any of these account records. So we'll go over to this account and uh, click on one of these. And you can see here, our next best action is visible on the screen. This is our next best action here. The first thing is, can we send you a gift basket for the holidays? That is what displays and then yes label and no. Now what happens when I click on yes here? So when I click on yes, that form will be shown to me. This is the form. Let's say the first name is Jackie and we'll say Smith. What is the street name? Let's say 4590 Twin Buttes Drive. The city is called Prosper and state is Texas. 
and uh, zip code let's say 78905 that's the zip code next here and now what will happen is the email should be sent as well so i'll open up my this is the email that is received it says send beautiful gift basket jackie smith address is this texas 78906 so this is the email that we received now this is how the recommendation works here so if i go back to any of the account records in all these account records you're going to see recommendations now you can have different types of recommendation for different types of account you can do all sorts of things so if i go over to any other account record here so if i go to app launcher and look for account and uh, first we went to burlington now let's say we go over to the dixon here now over here you can say the next best action is available can we send you a gift basket when we click on yes please the same flow will execute now if you say no thanks it basically we rejected the recommendation so it's up to the user to either accept the recommendation or reject it but what type of recommendation we want to show that is what the einstein next best action is going to do there are four things that we did here first is we created an action flow that executes when the gift basket recommendation is accepted the next step is we created a recommendation that specifies how to present the gift basket offer basically we created a new recommendation using the recommendation object then we have create a recommendation strategy flow it's a special type of flow that we created it takes in the record id and then it returns you a collection of recommendation and the fourth one one is add a next best action component that displays the recommendation on the account record page and executes the strategy so these are the four steps we executed in order to implement our einstein next best action i hope you guys are enjoying these tutorials thank you very very much